so friends in this video we will be learning how to do the photo engraving on the 3d toolpath in artcam 2017 on the 3c 3x cnc router so first thing we will require here is to have the grayscale bitmap or black and white or colored image of, of the person who want to engrave him his or her image on the wood image file should be of high resolution and the material should be of the wood uh, with the closely black grain structure will be most possible so first thing is to do is to open the image in the artcam 2017 so i am choosing here in this image i will try how to do the engraving we will see so first thing is to the main thing is to the height of the gel it depends upon the which tool you are using see i will show you the image of some use engraving tools these are the engraving tools you can see the here the conical uh, uh, angular part here to here is the flute is the maximum this up to we can engrave maximum finish depth so if we choose this it can be used up to the 7 mm and uh, this uh, big size to you can use up to uh, 20 or uh, between 18 mm you can use or you can use this with the uh, long length up to this but uh, before that up to this from the deep up to this size means up to approximately up to 45 mm you can do but the you need to do it the two parts that is first is a roughening then you can do the finishing operation so likewise likewise we have to do so choose the height here as i am taking height here considering the uh, smaller tool and choosing here the height as a 7 or you can choose 8 mm say ok then you can see here the according to the black and white color the some white part always shows the topmost positions and the black part shows the depth so after applying the display material you can see how it looks like so first thing we need to do is to generate the create the border lines along the vectors like uh, like this you have to generate and also for the his the middle image also you need to draw the outline for her like this you need to draw i have already drawn this so to save the time in this video I will just import it but uh, you should do it like this okay so I'm just importing the vectors you can see here the some outlines I have drawn already you can see like why you also need to draw so you can see here there is some part is going in the downside and it uh, don't look so good so if you want to make this part uh, to come outside we need to do some arrangement like this so you can see here we need to generate the uh, some closely packed uh, vectors like this so i want to make it up the inside part so i am using here the fade relief inside it and uh, say apply and then from here you can see the part is coming up so it looks uh, something better than the previous then the second thing we will use here the uh, shape editor is here is the icon of the shape editor just to see her hair that part you want to to make up and choose uh, it use a round one you can see it is uh, becomes very bulgy you can limit to a certain height where given some height you can increase up to 
maybe you can up this up to four and all. Okay, so say apply. Firstly, thing is that here is you can add. It will be added here. See, it is become merged with it. So you can choose here merge high. It will looks like smooth, but uh, it uh, finishes is then becomes smooth and doesn't looks good. You can also do the manually. You can also draw her hair if you want like this. If you apply and uh, you want to do car like this, you can car her by increasing or decreasing the radius and the strength as per you want you can do and taking here some examples to show you see likewise you can engrave also the here is a smooth option you can smooth the part that you don't allow on to also there is some more options you can deposit the two materials anywhere you want it to and uh, so I'm taking reverse so I'm taking reverse here you can see the way back to the reverse version here you take the limit to some height you decrease the height up to 3mm and you use the merge low it will look like this you see the how it will look like also you can choose the add add it is up to to uh, and let's say apply you can see here some part is come up same like you can do for the face also uh, up to some height you can increase So after this all you do after making some arrangement you need to delete uh, all the vectors that you have created you can see here and uh, you can choose the manually smooth option to make it smooth or you can use the relief pull smooth relief it will smooth all the part and say apply you can see it becomes uh, smooth so now we go into the tool path and then we need to go in the machine relief then uh, whole relief choose and the finish relief use uh, the tool which i shown you this this smaller one this one we need to select that tool that is in the aluminum in engraving here is that tool and uh, in the edit you can see the parameters just say ok and uh, select and uh, you can choose the raster finishing or uh, it's good you can see the material thicknesses you can give the 12 uh, and uh, say calculate now so here you can see the toolpath is generated now just go in the simulation and simulate your toolpath Say how to run generate the toolpath. You can see here the image is uh, generated and it will look like this. And then just uh, go with the toolpath, save toolpath as and the desktop you can save the toolpath. Just say save and the toolpath is saved. You can see here the toolpath is generated here. Uh, after the after it will look like something like this i have already tried it will look like this you can try it for your so i hope you like this video you can also have some queries or inquiries you can mail me on my gmail address is alvincnc.avr.com and also please like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel and also for 3, 4, 5, 6, CNC machinery purchase inquiry you can